everyone, my name is Leanne Washburn and I am the Healthy Living Director at the Jamison Family YMCA. And today I am gonna be showing you some pregnancy stretches. I am 28 weeks pregnant and these are just five stretches that have been helping me during this quarantine time. First, I just wanna say in regards to these stretches, make sure that you always check with your healthcare provider before starting any exercise routine. Next, during these, make sure that the stretches aren't um, and bouncing motion, make sure that they're intentional, uh, make sure that you are breathing during them, um, and that they should never be painful. The first stretch is called the butterfly stretch. What you're gonna do is sit on the floor, you're gonna pull both of your feet together, close to you, and you're gonna sit upright in this position. This is gonna open your thighs, your hips, and you're gonna feel it in your lower back. This should be held for about 30 seconds, and you can repeat three times. With this one as well, you can lean forward to however is comfortable for you. Um, you'll be feeling that more in your lower back and still opening those hips and those thighs. This next stretch is gonna be done with an exercise ball. However, you can just use your couch or a chair that you have around the house. It's gonna be called the runner's lunge and you're just really using this ball for stability for it. What you're gonna be doing is having one of your knees placed down. You can put a pillow under that for comfort. Um, and taking your other leg out. You don't want your knee to go over your toes. You want it to be right over your ankle and you're holding this ball for stability. This is called the runner's lunge. You'll be hinging forward just slightly to feel that. You'll be feeling it in your thighs um, and also your lower back as well. You can come back. You'll be holding this for about 20 to 30 seconds and you can repeat for three times. You can be using the stability ball, you can use your couch or a chair that you have around the house. It's gonna be called the forward rolls. So what you're doing, so your knees are on the ground, you can put a pillow under them for comfort. This is gonna be working your back and stretching it out. Your hands will be on the ball as you lean forward, slowly walk it forward, lean to the whatever is comfortable for you, hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds, and slowly come back up. You'll feel that in your upper back and then also your lower back. Make sure when you're pressing down on that chair or the ball in front of you that you're really taking the pressure and putting it in your hands and letting that um, back have that relief while you're doing this. So for this next stretch, you're gonna be on your stability ball. You can be at a chair or on your couch at home. This can be done while you're watching TV, while you're working um, at home from your desk. You're gonna be in a seated position and bringing one leg over the opposite side. This is called the pigeon stretch. You're gonna slowly press down on that knee, just feeling the stretch in your outer thighs. And then you're also gonna be feeling a stretch in your lower back. As far as being on the stability ball, you're gonna to wanna to keep that core tight. So you might wanna be doing this one in a chair, especially if you're in your second or third trimester. So for this last stretch, you're gonna still remain on your stability ball on your chair at home or on your couch. This is called the simple side stretch. So you're gonna still remain in the seated position, taking your right hand, lifting it up, and just stretching it over to the side. This is opening up the muscles in your ribs, um, also your pelvic floor as you're on the stability ball, and you're just reaching to the side to the point where there shouldn't be any discomfort in it, um, but you're just feeling that nice stretch to the side. It's one of my favorites just because you can just breathe through it, you can hold this again for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat three times or however many times that is comfortable or best for you during this time. So that concludes our five prenatal stretches. They have worked for me during this time and hopefully they work for you as well. Hopefully you and baby are both happy and healthy during this time and we can't wait to see y'all.